Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing the Severus Snape book tag. Um, I actually sat down to film this and realised that I have nothing to show that this video is anything to do with Severus Snape. I don't have any Funko Pops of him, I don't think he's on the cover of any of the books, I have no clothing or accessories with him on, nothing. I don't even have anything Slytherin or Snakey related. So you're just going to get my answers to the questions, I'm afraid. Um, so yeah, they are quite lengthy questions and I do have them written out in note form in front of me. So I'm going to read out the whole question and then give you my answers. So the first question is, Severus Snape wears all black. Which book with a black cover is your favourite? And for this, I have gone for Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Yes, it's not all black, but it is mostly black. Um, I did have quite a few options. Um, when I kind of first thought off the top of my head of an answer for this question, I wasn't sure. Um, but I've gone for this. I gave it five stars when I read it. I'm really looking forward to the sequel, which is coming out later this year. And yeah, so it is my favourite book with a mostly black cover. The next question is... Which character do you love as much as Snape loves Lily? And for that, I know he's not technically a book character, but it is, of course, Sam Winchester. I love everything about him and more. And yeah, I definitely love him like Snape loves Lily because he's amazing. So yeah. The next question is, name a character that you hate as much as Snape hates Harry. And for this, I've gone for quite an obvious answer, and I think a lot of people have gone for this answer, and that is Dolores Umbridge in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. There's just nothing redeeming about her at all. And I hate that she is a cat lady, because she gives cat people a terrible name. I promise, cat people are nothing like her. We are lovely, warm, cuddly, fluffy people. We are not Dolores Umbridges, so... Yeah, but I do. I hate her and I think everybody does. So, yeah. The next question is, Snape spent a short time as headmaster of Hogwarts. If you were headmaster, what would you put on the mandatory reading list? And I love this question. It's so original. And I've gone for, well, I've picked three books that I think I would always want kids to read. The first one is Grimm's Fairy Tales. And when I say Grimm's, I don't just mean Grimm's. I mean basically just any general book of fairy tales. Because I think fairy tales are really important for everyone to read. But especially kids. Because I think... My childhood would have been very different if I didn't grow up with fairy tales. And I know like a lot of adults are like, well, kids shouldn't really be filling their heads with fantastical rubbish. But I argue that fairy tales hold very real and important messages that kids need to learn. And also the kind of lovely fantasy world is what kind of, I think, creates that childish sense of wonder and awe and children wouldn't be children if they didn't believe in fairy tales and you know there there are a lot of very real morals that they need to learn from them as well so yeah any general book of fairy tales I would definitely put on a mandatory school reading list another book I would put on a mandatory reading list is The Pecks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky it's a general very powerful but very relatable YA coming of age story and I think anyone from the age of 12 or 13 to literally anybody of 80, 90 years old needs to read this book at some point. It's that important I think. Um, yes it is just a coming of age story but it's about so much more than that. It's very real, it's very harrowing at times but it's also very relatable and that's why I think everybody should read it. So yeah. And another book that I would put on a mandatory reading list is, of course, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Um, yes, it's not my favourite in the series, but this is where it all started. And I defy anyone to read this book and not to finish the series. So, yeah, kids need to pick this up even more than they already are and experience the wonder that is Harry Potter. So, yeah. The next question is, Snape has a tattoo of the dark mark on his wrist. Which other character with tattoos do you love? And for this, I have gone for Resand in A Court of Mist and Fury. Um, he's in A Court of Thorns and Roses as well, but he's much more prominent in the second book. 
And I just absolutely adore him. He is obviously a... He's Lord of the Night Court. And he is covered in beautiful tattoos, apparently. So I love him. Um, I do also quite like Feyre, who in this series, who also has tattoos. But I just feel like she's not Sarah J Maas's best heroine. And fellow Sarah J Maas fans will know exactly who I'm comparing her to there. But um, she's not. She's okay. I don't hate her. But... Rusand is definitely my favourite character in this series, along with other members of his court, which I'm not going to talk about for the case of Akamath spoilers. So, yeah, there you go. The next question is, Snape makes an unbreakable vow with Narcissa Malfoy to protect Draco Malfoy. Which book would you protect with your life? And it's my favourite book ever. So yes, I would protect it with my life. And that is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I love this book. I love this film. I'm not religious in any way. So I couldn't say a religious script for my answer to this question. Which I think a lot of people are seeming to do because they feel like they should. Um, maybe I'm a terrible person for saying that. I don't know. But this is, I guess, a little bit like my Bible. So there you go. <laughs> The next question is, Snape is obviously head of Slytherin House, which was founded by Salazar Slytherin, who wanted to ban all Half-Bloods and Muggleborns from Hogwarts. Which book would you ban from bookstores? And I think I'm going to have to say I don't have a copy of it, because obviously why would I? I want to ban it. And that is Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James. Um, not only is it terribly written everything the plot the characters are just appalling and that whole phenomenon needs to be stopped immediately so yeah anyway the next question is um snape is in both the death eaters and in the order of the phoenix which fictional characters would you like in your group so there are a lot of characters that I could have chosen and there are a lot of characters which would be valid answers for me for this question but I've picked three which I think I would most like to have in my group and the first one is Selina from the Throne of Glass series. She's just so fierce, she's so badass, she's an amazing assassin and I'm not that good at protecting myself in physical fights. I don't get in them very often, but I feel like she could fight my physical battles for me. So, yeah. I would also really like Hermione Granger because she's my bookish bestie. And obviously I would love her in my little in crowd. She's also incredibly clever. She's very book smart, so she could kind of help me figure things out. And we just have the best time, I think. And also, I'm going to say Tyrion Lannister is an answer for this question because, again, he's very clever, he's very funny, um, he's very witty and I think that's something that you need in any friendship group. So, yeah. And the last question is... Snape is obviously potions master and as potions master he has brewed many many potions in his time. Which potion would you rather take from a potion that makes reading and books your job or a potion that makes you write a book? And this is a really tough question for me but I think I would rather take a potion that helped me write a book because I think if reading was my job and therefore reading was all I did all day every day as much fun as that sounds I sort of feel like I may like start enjoying it a little bit less because I'd have nothing to kind of compare it to if you know what I mean I mean I I did read a lot for three years when I studied English literature at uni and I wasn't really reading that much for pleasure because I was being told what I had to read. And I imagine, you know, if I was reading for a job, then I would be being told what to read. So I think I would rather take a potion that helps me write a book because that is one of my lifetime ambitions and it would be awesome just to do that. So, yeah. And that is all I have for you today. As normal, I will leave all my social media down below. If you want to do this tag, then please feel free to. And I will see you very soon for another video. Bye-bye.